Shalom, body of Messiah. Mark Pulley here with Yahweh Yeshua Assembly in Fort Myers, Florida, bringing you another teaching from Yahweh's laws and commandments. I pray on this first day of the week that you are in good spirits. The joy of Yah is your strength, that his blessing is upon your life, and that you are having a good day. Now I want to share with you something that I saw like I never saw before. I think it was early in this week or maybe it was early in last week. And I want to share with you to encourage you that Yah's word would strengthen you. That you would keep fighting the good fight of faith. All of us, including myself, go through times of difficulty. Go through times when we have to believe <clears throat> Yahweh for something that is in our redemption and it seems impossible. And whether it's a disease, whether it's for finances, whether it's for a job, whether it's for peace, whether it's for joy, whether it's for restoration, whether it's for a marriage, whether it's for your children, whether it's for our nation or the body of Messiah or whatever it may be, we all go through things, difficult things, and the enemy attacks and attacks and attacks and attacks to try to wear you and myself down so that we give up and quit. Because if we back off, in any way, shape, fashion, or form, in Hasatan's eyes, he's gained the victory. Where the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57, that Yahweh causes us to triumph always in Messiah Yeshua. So having the victory is... Yah's plan for your and my life over all the temptations, attacks, tests, and trials that come to us from the evil one. And he just sometimes relentlessly just attacks you. I know I deal with some issues. Sometimes I have a irregular heartbeat. And at the end of the day, you know, when it comes and goes, comes and goes, and then sometimes it stays for quite a while. At the end of the day, I'm just worn out physically and spiritually, even though as often as I can, I speak to it. I come against it by the power of Yah's name. I declare what thus saith Yahweh concerning his promise to me for healing and deliverance and restoration. But, you know, and I just try not to go. Why is this not changing? I try not to go there. Because if I go there, you begin to think on that thought instead of that by his stripes you are healed. That Yeshua, in Matthew 8, 17, it says that he came to complete what Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 53, that he took all our infirmities, bore all our sicknesses, and by his stripes we were healed. And Yeshua came to complete that prophecy. And that also means that he came to complete that prophecy in you or in me. And so, you know, I stand on it and stand on it. What did the Apostle Paul say concerning the armor? That when you've done all the stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, which we know is Yahweh's word, his instructions, his laws and commandments, his Torah, so on and so forth. So I want to encourage you to fight the good fight of faith. I wrote a book when we were in Christianity, and it's still applicable. The only problem is I haven't redone the pagan names in it, you know, like JC and LORD and G-O-D. Um, and it's called um, fight. Faith Fights, It Never Backs Down. And so we need 
to have that strong within us that we're never going to back down. No matter what Hasatan throws at us, no matter what this lawless world throws at us, we are not going to back down from believing on what thus saith Yahweh. We're going to keep standing, and we're going to keep standing, whether it's about restoring our nation to Yah's laws and commandments, whether it's about restoring our nation to His Sabbath, whether it's about restoring those who say they believe in the Hebrew Messiah back to His Hebraic names, back to the Sabbath, back to the Torah, whatever it is, whether it's something for you personally or whether you're in intercession for the land. So, I want to just share with you what I what came to me, and I would just encourage you, uh, read this over and over. If you want this in writing, you can go to my Facebook page, Mark Pulley, or you can go to Yahweh Yeshua Assembly. Um, we got a group page and a Facebook page, and it has this teaching in there. And what I would encourage you to do, whether it's listening or reading, to go over it and over it and over it and let it just build your faith and strengthen your spirit. And especially keep doing it when the season is good, when you're not under attack. Because if you wait till you're under attack, you're not going to have much inward strength within you to overcome the enemy. Um, in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 through 20, Paul's praying for Ephesus that they would be uh, strengthened with power, Yah's power, by his spirit in the inner man. So we need to pray that we are strengthened with Yah's power by his spirit in our inner man. And so you can pray that for others that are going through battles. You can pray that for myself, that I would be strengthened. And I will pray that for you, that you will be strengthened with Yah's power, his resurrection power, his dunamis, his supernatural power, the same power that raised Messiah Yeshua from the dead, that you would be strengthened with that power by his Ruach, by his spirit, in your inner man. All right. When you stand on Yah's promises for restoration, for healing, for peace, for joy, for a new beginning, for deliverance from a bondage or a habit or from some sort of sin or whatever the case may be for your children, for your marriage, for our nation. The word that you stand on, according to Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11, and what Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11 says, let's just turn there and we can read it. And so we all are on the same page. Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. And it says, For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not, but waters the earth. <clears throat> so we get it. Snow, rain, waters the earth when it comes down, and it, it can't go back up. Once it comes down, it's down, <clears throat> okay? And makes it bring forth and bud or causes, you know, things to grow. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word, Yah's word, Yah's instructions, or even a prophetic word that Yah has given you. Like for me, he gave me a word some years ago that I would work less and make more. And for a number of years, that is the case. I'm working less and making more. Hallelujah. 
He also gave me a word that this shall be as if it never took place. And that was in reference to a sickness, to a disease. That this shall be as if it never took place. And that mean, meant when I received it, what I was going through, I was going to look back at some point and it will be like it never took place. And you may be fighting for your life and it shall be as if it never took place. Receive that word. Claim that word. Accept it. See, I didn't question it. I just received it. And there's been other times Yah has spoken things to me. And I, I received them, stood on them. Didn't come to pass overnight. Didn't come to pass in weeks. Came to pass in months and sometimes in years. But nonetheless, it came to pass. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, and that includes the written word, it shall not return unto me void or empty or powerless or unaccomplished. So his word that he sends to you, that you take a stand of faith on, will not return to him unaccomplished or void of power or not received or not come to pass. But it shall accomplish. See, that's where I get the word that, that void means not accomplished. But it shall accomplish. See, his word will not return to him unaccomplished. Believe it. His word will not return to him his promises. Whatever those promises are. Now, if, if you're just hoping and wishing, you're not going to receive much. But you have to literally take a stand on what thus saith Yahweh. And when you do, and you keep fighting, and you don't back off, just like a boxer, you just, you just keep jabbing. Keep jabbing and moving, bobbing and weaving, as Brother Hugh used to say. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. When he throws tries to smack you, bob and weave, bob and weave, and then let her fly and knock out the devil or his temptation. But it shall not return unto me unaccomplished, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it, or Yah sent it. So, when you and I stand on whatever the promise is, and all the promises of Yah are yes and so be it. And when you stand, and you just keep standing, you refuse to back off. You refuse to back off, Jack, and you just keep fighting. You keep resisting whatever it is the enemy's throwing at you. You keep focused on what thus saith Yahweh. Yeshua said, or Yahweh said, that it shall accomplish whereunto what he pleased. So if it's healing, and th there's another scripture that says that no word from Yahweh is void of power. No word from Yahweh, let's see if I can find that real quick. Um, no, bear with me, please. Luke 1, 37. So let's turn there. Luke 1, 37. And this is in regards um, to the birth of John the Baptist, I believe. Luke 1, 37, and it says, in this version, it says, For with Yah, nothing shall be impossible. There are other versions that say, No word from Yah is void 
of power. No word from Yah is void of power. That, it's the American Standard Version that says that. It says, no word from Yah shall be void of power. You need to write that down. You need to hold on to that, that no word. So the word that by his stripes you were healed, it shall not be void of power, and it will not return unto Yah until it accomplishes the healing within you. And how I apply that to my life, I say that the word that I'm standing on, there's a number of them, one's in Job, that my flesh is fresher than a child, and I shall return to the days of my youth. Another word is, Mark 16, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Another word says, speak to the mountain, to be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Or, I speak to an irregular heartbeat, I speak to hypertension, and I say, be thou removed. And Yeshua said, if you don't doubt what you say, but believe that you, what you say will come to pass, you will have whatever you say. You have to believe that it will, not maybe, not hopefully, but it will come to pass. Now you can use these verses for a variety of, of promises. And, and the one that I quoted, Matthew 8, 17 and Isaiah 53, that Yeshua came to complete the prophecy of Isaiah for me that my heart would be healed of heart disease or an irregular heartbeat or hypertension. And it will not return to Yahweh until it accomplishes that healing. And it will, it will accomplish what Yahweh sent it to accomplish. And that is for me to be healed. Another word to stand on, Psalm 107.20. He sent his word to deliver them from their destructions. To heal them and deliver them from their destructions. So heart disease is a destruction. So, and I mean some days it's tough. It's challenging. But I keep standing on it. And I keep standing on it. I take my medicine, but... A lot of times that medicine isn't doing what it's supposed to do. So I keep standing on it. I don't look or trust in the medicine, but I trust in Yahweh. I trust in the word that he sent and in the provision that the Messiah, as the sacrificial Passover lamb did on the stake, to complete the healing and the forgiveness for my life. All right. So it will not return void until it accomplishes the healing, the restoration, the deliverance, the peace, the joy, the marital restoration, children serving Yah, a new beginning, or whatever the case may be, whatever you're standing on in believing. Now you have to stand in belief for, believe for Yahweh to do something about it. You have to, if you're not using your faith to believe for the miracle or for the healing or for the restoration, unless Yah just moves out of the goodness of his heart, nothing's going to take place. You and I have to walk by faith. Remember, in Matthew 14, Yeshua's walking on the water, and the disciples thought it was a ghost. And he said, no, it's me. And Peter said, if it's you, bid me to come. And, and Yeshua said, come. And Peter got out of that boat and started to walk on the water. He started to walk in the supernatural. He, he was walking on top of the water by the power of Yah. But now when he looked at his circumstances, and he's thinking, I'm sure, oh my goodness, 
I'm going to die, sink. And then pfft, he went down the water and he yelled to Yeshua to save him and Yeshua saved him. I got to tell you a little thing I saw on Facebook. It's pretty hilarious, I think, anyways. So a husband asked the wife, you know, to go buy something or do something. I don't remember the exact context. And she said, as soon as you walk on water, you can do it. So he goes and gets a case of water, brings it in front of her, and he stands on it and begins to stand walking. I just think that's hilarious. And so, you know, she said, that's not what I meant. Well, you said. So he walked. He literally walked on water. Little joke anyways. All right. So don't give up. Don't stop believing, no matter how difficult it is. Keep battling through. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep standing on <clears throat> Yah's word, on his promises, and battle through. Keep resisting <clears throat> whatever it is you need to resist. Excuse me while I take a little drink of water. Keep resisting. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep resisting. Keep standing. Keep fighting the fight of faith. Faith fights and it never backs down. So if you're wondering if you're walking by faith, if you're not fighting and standing and believing Yah's promises, even in impossible situations, then you're not walking by faith. If you're discouraged, usually when I get discouraged, it's because I'm looking at the circumstances. I'm thinking about the circumstances. And then I have to smack myself upside the head and get off of it, repent, and get back to believing what thus saith Yahweh. So don't give up. Keep standing. Keep thanking Yahweh, His word, His promise. His instruction <clears throat> is working, and it's healing. It's restoring. It's blessing. It's opening doors, or whatever, the, whatever you need. It's providing. Yah's word, as I said before, is full of power. No matter what word that is, it's full of power, and it will do like it did for Elizabeth and her husband. And that was, she conceived. His word is working, and this is something you got to get. We even, this was a word that Yah gave me some time ago. And my wife took it and printed it out and put it in a, a frame and put it on our table so we would see it at all times. His word and his spirit is working even when you don't see it <clears throat> or feel it. His word and his spirit is working in you, for you, to you, through you, even when you don't see it or feel it. Hallelujah. So we have to keep believing. We have to keep speaking what thus saith Yahweh. As if it's already done. And why do I say that? Romans 4.17. The prophetic uh, past tense principle says that Yah called Abraham, a father of many nations, Romans 4.17, way before, 25 years before, he became a father of many nations. So every time someone said Abraham even though he was childless, they were actually saying, father of many nations. Every time they called Sarah, which means mother of nations, they were literally saying, Sarah, you are a mother of nations. And then after a season, long season, it came to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be reminded of Psalm 107.20. He sent his word and healed us 
and delivered us from our destructions. We need to fight the good fight of faith, 1 Timothy 6.12. And we need to lay hold onto our salvation. Keep obeying Yahweh's commandments. Don't give up. Don't back off. Keep believing Yahweh's words. Whether it's his ten words, whether it's his laws and commandments, the Torah, whether it's a promise for healing, for financial provision, for peace of mind, for your heart being healed, for people that, are, whether it's for to be healed of cancer, to be healed of some other disease that could wipe you out, or divine protection, whatever the case may be, keep believing and keep speaking what thus saith Yahweh. Remember, in the book of Proverbs, it says, death and life, I believe it's Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. And you can choose to eat whatever it is you are speaking. And so your words have very much to do with your walk of faith. And so you and I, we need to keep speaking what Yahweh's words say. And as we do, those words are not void of power. They will not return to Yahweh until they accomplish the healing, the deliverance, the restoration, the peace, the joy, the wisdom, or whatever it is that you need. They will not return until they accomplish it. Yah spoke through the prophet that just as snow and rain comes down and waters the earth, so shall his word be, meaning once his word comes down, it will not return unaccomplished. And you need to understand that, that the word you're standing on will not return unaccomplished, will not be void. But you and I need to be strengthened with power by Yah's spirit in our inner man, to battle through, to battle through to the other side. Remember in Mark 4, when Yeshua got into the boat and he said, let's go to the other side, a hurricane type force storm came up. And living in Florida, we've been in some Cat 5 storms, not outside, but in our house. And you could just see the wind blowing and the rain blowing and hitting the house hard. And yet, that's the, we that's the weather or the storm that the disciples and Yeshua faced in Mark 4 when he said to go to the other side. And when the disciples were freaking out, Yesh they woke Yeshua up and he said, where is your faith? Or, why aren't you using your faith to speak and to stop this storm? And so, what did Yahshua do? Did he just let it continue? No. He said, peace, be still, and the winds and the waters calm down. And so, from that, we need to see that even in the storm, we need to speak to it. And even if the storm, the winds, and whatever is attacking you doesn't immediately stop, you will be protected. We, we've been through many hurricanes, and we have been protected. Our house remains standing. Now, the only thing we've lost a few times were a few screens, you know, you can see in the background in our lanai area where our pool is. And that's minimal. But even that, I said, yeah, it shouldn't have happened. 
There were times that nothing was damaged. But now some of these screens are old, so they're, they're real easy and brittle. You just blow on them and basically they'll break out. So anyways, I pray that this teaching, I, I was hoping it'd be short. Well, it's shorter than normal. Um, that it encourages you. That it strengthens you. Don't get down on yourself if you're going through a long, drawn-out battle. Be encouraged. Keep focused on Yah's word. Be strengthened with might by his power in their inner man, by his spirit. And fight the good fight of faith. Stand on whatever the promise is. Now, if you're not standing on a promise, you're not standing on solid foundation. You're just a hope and a wishing. But if you're standing on the word, just keep standing. Just keep standing. So, Father, we just thank you and ask you to take this word to those that are hurting, those that are struggling, those that are going through warfare and battles and infirmities and lacks and fears and anxieties and marital issues and every other type of issue that you can think of. Strengthen them, Father, with your word by the power of your spirit and bring shalom, peace, wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken to them, Father. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Whatever is going on in their body, correct it. Heal it. Restore it. Uh, bless them, Father, by the power of your name. And give them the inner strength to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Give them, give myself the inner strength to keep standing when the enemy throws the fiery darts against you. Just like Yeshua did in Luke 4 and Matthew 4 when he was in the wilderness being tempted of the devil. He spoke what thus saith Yahweh. He attacked the attack with the Torah, with what Yahweh spoke. And we need to do the same thing. So help us, Eternal One. Help us, Father. And Yahweh, we give you praise. Yeshua, we thank you that you came to complete the prophecy that Isaiah prophesied, that himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. And Yeshua, you came to complete that healing and that restoration in us. So, Yeshua, we give you thanks. We thank you. We praise Yahweh for you. And we receive it. If you want to connect with us, we have a website, YahwehYeshuaAssembly.com. We're on many social, um, uh, not website, but social medias. You can go to them and receive teaching. Um, hit the bell. Join, um, whether it's a group or YouTube. Hit the bell and the button and all that good stuff so that you will receive teachings. So be encouraged. Be strengthened. Because Yahweh's word will not return to him unaccomplished, but it will accomplish the miracle that you need in your life. Until next time, shalom, shalom.